Hello, my ambitious babes. It's Sarah here. First time up on the beauty segment. Last week, um, Chelsea gave you um, an inside look to her ride or die beauty staple products, like what she can't live without. So, um, I am going to kind of go through my ride or die products. Um, and I, I thought it would be great because I'm going to offer a different perspective. Chelsea is in her twenties. Um, and I'm in my forties. So our skin has different needs. Um, and let's just be honest. No one is ever going to say, wow, Sarah, you have great skin. Um, I have several different things that I, I manage with my skin. Uh, one, I'm very much acne prone, even though I'm in my forties, it's just something that I've dealt with most of my life. Um, like if I get in a little close, you can kind of see where I've got a little breakout going here, a little hormonal stuff going on down here. Um, you know, and I'm like anyone else around my age, I'm always concerned about my fine lines. Um, and wrinkles and making sure that I am um, practicing some prevention. You know what they say, an ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure, uh, especially when it comes to fine lines and wrinkles. And then if all that's not fun enough, um, I also have, and I hope I'm going to get this pronunciation right, melasma. Um, so it's better probably known as pregnancy mask, um, although I developed it way before I had my daughter. Um, it's a hormone induced patchiness on your face. So I first started getting it on my forehead, just kind of right here in the center. And it was just like brown dots. It's almost like I had a thousand freckles that kind of formed together to make a, a splotch. And it was a pretty good size. So um, I sought out some professional help um, like I didn't know what it was, had no clue. Like I really, um, didn't know if it was a sunspot. I, like I really, I just had no idea what it was, but it, it took up a good portion of my forehead. Um, so they told me that it was actually, um, come from having, uh, you know, just a change in hormones. Uh, it, after I had, had it develop here, it kind of came along my mustache line, um, and then into my cheeks. Um, and then I had it pretty bad on my chin too. And it's one of those things that you just have to learn to manage. Um, it is what it is. Now you don't see it really at this moment. One, because it's February, um, and I haven't been out in the sun. Uh, and two, I use products that help me manage it. I'm going to talk a little bit about it, but I'm not going to dive too deep in that. If that's something that you want to know more about, I'll do a whole segment on just the products that I use to fight um, my dark patches. But that's a little bit about my skin history. So let's just get into it. Okay. So um, I want to start with like my basic stuff that what I do. Um, I use this cleanser. It's by Exuviance. It's just normal combination uh, skin. It's just a gentle cleanser. Um, I will typically use this morning and night. Um, in the sh I'll use it in the shower and then um, I'll use it before I put makeup on the morning. Um, if I, before I use it at night, I'll always use kind of a makeup wipe to take all of it off. I do prefer, you know, just the Equate brand. Nothing fancy. Um, but I take off most of my makeup before I use that. And then um, I'll use a makeup remover. Or, I'm sorry, an eye makeup remover. Because, you know, I do wear quite a bit of eyeliner, eyeshadow, and mascara. And those of you who wear it, you know it's kind of a hot mess when you get off. So, when you get out of the shower. So, I like this. Um... It's just the Target brand of eye makeup remover. It's the kind that you shake and it combines and you just put it on a cotton pad and then you wipe it off. It's very similar. Um, like this is an oldie. 
very similar to this in its usage, um, but a fraction of the price, and that's what I really like about it. Um, so, yeah, I once I kind of uh, get through taking my makeup off, I wash with the Exuviance cleanser. I like the Exuviance because it's not a soap base and it's not it doesn't dry my skin out. Um, once I get out of the shower, all my eye makeup's off and I have a clean face. Um, I do use a toner and I do use um, the Exuviance toner. I'm a big fan of the Exuviance um, for uh, multiple reasons. Um, it is a little on the pricey side, um, but I will say it has great results and um, you can kind of build your collection slowly as you can find it on sale. Um, they do sell it at Ulta, but I don't find that Ulta has as many sales on it as the actual Exuviance website. Um, their uh, website will have sales on different, like they'll do a sale on moisturizers or, you know, some of these basics. Um, and I certainly did not um, buy everything that I use now all at once. I kind of had to piece it together um, because it is a little pricey and that's just... You know that's just life so um moving on to the from there a couple just to kind of talk about exuviance a little bit more um two other products that i use from them that i absolutely love and keep all the time um is this eye, eye um, cream like the tiniest dot is all you need um it it really is called Age Reverse Eye Contour. Uh, it says comprehensive anti-aging. Um, I really think it just provides that hydration underneath there to kind of keep that eye area plumped. And I, I do put it all over the eye. I really do like this. Um, and you can get a pretty good sale on this if you're shopping it. Like if you're checking their website, you can find this on sale. Um, probably my my newest product from them but maybe one of my favorites is the citra firm um it's by exuviance a couple drops like if this is one of those things a little dab will do you like i used to tell my kindergarten students a little dab will do you and then you can kind of spread it throughout your face this is a great product um to put on morning and night just to give your skin that extra plump um, and I do put that on underneath my moisturizers. Um, so, speaking of moisturizers, it's my opinion that you should always use um, a serum. Like, put that oil on, don't put it on. You know, you gotta, you just do what you've got to do. Um, but I have two serums that I really, really like. I don't use them both at the same time necessarily. I have the one from Exuviance. It's called Age Reverse Total Correct and Sculpt Serum. Again, these products are a little exp expensive, um, so you kind of have to build on them over time um, and buy them as you afford them, can afford them, or as they go on sale. Um, but when I don't, I'm not using that, I'm using this. Let me get that a little closer. This is by Equate. It's Walmart brand. It's Regenerating Daily Serum. This is the off-brand um, from Olay's um, Regenerating Serum. I really like this. This is very moisturizing, very plumping. Um, and if you have mature skin, this is really good. It's fragrance free, no parabens. Like, I highly recommend this. So, if you're just getting into wearing a serum, like underneath your makeup, this is the one to go for. I think it's like $12 or $13. Lasts a really long time. You don't have to put a ton of it on for it to be, um, you know, um, 
doing its job, like a little dab will do you. Yeah. So, probably one of my longest standing products. Don't go anywhere without it, like all the time. This Olay Total Effects 7 in 1. I have used this forever. Um, it's just, it's a great moisturizer. Like if I don't put anything else on, like if I'm having one of those days where I'm not putting anything else on my face, I'm putting this on. Um, it's got a broad spectrum SPF, which is huge, especially if you're somebody that has melasma, you're putting sunscreen on all the time. Plus it's just good. If you're um, concerned about fine lines and aging, you're gonna wear sunscreen. So, but this is, this is great. I put this on every day. Put the back of my, my beauty case here. Um, some other like can't live without products. Let's see here. Um, okay, I'm gonna give one more Exuviance product. So if I had one Exuviance product that you should try first, it's gonna be this. Okay, and no Exuviance isn't sponsoring me, but yes, they can if they want to. If you had to get any product that's worth the money, it's gonna be this Performance Peel. You can also find these, they do run specials. Um, I think the last one I bought was 50% off. Um, it's a great, great deal. And um, so let me just open it up. I hope this is one that's open so I can actually get into it. So there's two pads in here. So this is the first one um, that you'll put on. I think you leave it on for like 10 minutes and then you come back. This is the actual working pad and then this one comes back and um, neutralizes it. So to make it last longer, uh, cause there's only, how many are there in here? 13 uh, pads in here. So that's 13 times. To make it last longer and really get my money out of it, I have a little Ziploc bag here. I cut the pad in half, stick one of them back in the packaging, put it in the Ziploc bag and keep it. And I only do this once a week. So I take that 13 pads and I turn it into 26. Um, and one of the um, representatives from Exuviance taught me that. So this is the one for the actual peeling pad, the activator pad, and this is the neutralizer. And I do the same thing. I just take scissors and I cut that pad in half. Um, and I save it to the next time. And I do this every single time. There's plenty on that pad. See, here's a half. Um, there's plenty on that pad to do the job. They don't dry out. You know, I keep them in these little sandwich or snack size bags. It's perfect. Um, really stretches your money. These are magical. They tighten, they tone. Like if you, if your pores are kind of starting, you feel like they're getting big. I mean, they, really really good and you're not gonna like slough off skin it's not like a dramatic peel or anything it's just a light exfoliation um you may notice some peeling depending on um how sensitive your skin is um i never did but um i do always exfoliate probably once or twice a week anyway highly highly recommend this exuviance performance peel like this is worth it um, it's worth the money but you can always, they run specials on these quite a bit. All right. What else do I want to share with you? Um, let's see. Hmm. Primer. Let's talk about primer. Um, so I just, I probably started using primer maybe, I don't know, um, a year ago two years ago maybe I don't think it's been two years um and I've tried a lot of them I was trying to see I had a little sample um sorry I got it up close to my ponytail there I was trying to find a sample that I recently got oh here it is so here's some that I've recently tried um I've tried the all night um by Urban Decay 
Um, I've tried the Milk Hydra Grip. Um, and those are just some samples that I have. Um, the Elf Jelly Pop. And then the Elf Mint Melt. That's from their new collection that just came out. And then, of course, um, the Elf Poreless Putty Primer. Um, <clears throat> I think a primer definitely makes your makeup look better. Definitely makes it go on better. Hey, do you all follow Michaela? Um, like on TikTok, she's like a makeup goddess. Like she really loves this Milk Hydra Grip. Um, and she's why I bought the sample because I really wanted to try it. Eh, it's okay. Um, it's kind of expensive for like the full size. That's why I bought the, the sample. Save your money. Um, the All Night, All Nighter by Urban Decay. It's actually not bad. I'm not sure how much it is for a full side too, but I'm, I'm kind of feeling like it's a little pricey. Um, it's great, but you know, <laughs> you can't go wrong with these. Like this is, has always been like when they came out with this, I think two last summer, two summers ago. I can't remember. This was the, one of the first primers I ever tried. Um, the elf jelly pop, do primer. I love this stuff. Like when you put it on, it kind of gives your skin like a sticky feeling, kind of very similar to actually the, the milk Hydra grip. Um, but I think it's even better. Um, I really like it a lot. Like I like how it makes my face feel and I like how the makeup looks when going on. Now this mint, um, cooling face primer, I don't think it cools. I don't feel any kind of cooling sensation. It is kind of green, but it has, it's very similar to this one. Um, and I really, really think it's great. Highly recommend these. I think $8, I think. I think these are like $8. Totally worth $8. Like I think a full size of this is like 30. No thanks. I, no, no thanks. Um, and then of course this is from Elf as well. This is um, the poreless, cause I do have some large pores. It's so nice. Like it feels so good. Um, they have a couple different versions of this, but I like this one. Like when you put it on, it immediately kind of gives you that blurred look. Like even if this is all you have on. Um, so I do recommend this. I like this one a lot. Um, so my primer I pretty much always use is from e.l.f. Um, for sure. Okay. Um, let's talk about concealer. I think Chelsea sh shared her concealer. Um, and I actually want to try her concealer. I have not tried that one. My, so for years, I'm trying to find one that actually has something in it for years and years and years and years. I've always used, um, the Mac pro long wear concealer. Like this is what I've used for, I'd probably say six or seven years. Well, just recently I tried um, shape tape. I love it. Like, I still really enjoy this. This makes a great, um, eyelid primer too. It makes a good concealer and eyelid primer all in one. Um, but I really enjoy the shape tape. Um, I think it, it just, it gives a lot of good coverage. Um, and it just kind of gives you a good blurring effect and brightening. Um, so, uh, again, I feel like this is one of these products that you can find a good sale on it a lot. Um, you just kind of have to be watching. Uh, I'm all about a bargain and you guys will learn that. So like, I feel like I've got a stock of these. I, I can't remember. They had a two for sale going on. They had a 25% going on recently. Tarte is the maker of this. Um, I would definitely, when you find this um, on sale, take advantage. I use the shade 20B because um, I am pretty fair, um, especially this time of year. But highly, highly recommend the Tarte's face uh, shape tape. Sorry, shape tape. Great product. All right, a couple more products that I really, really like. <sighs> Let's talk self-tanner girls. It's almost the time. It's February. 
in another month, month and a half, your leg's gonna be showing. So it's time. This is my go-to. Now, I know there's a ton of other ones out there. Um, I have considered many times trying uh, some, of one, some of the ones that the influencers really, really hype up, but I, I just, I like the L'Oreal. I can go to my grocery store and get it. Um, I think it's probably around $15. This one is, um, it has a little bit of a shimmer to it and it has like an instant color and then it has a gradual. So it has an instant color and helps you see where you're putting it. Um, it gives you a little instant so you can put it on and go. Um, I don't find that it rubs off on my clothes or my sheets or anything. Um, you know, it's it's got a more natural look. I use the color medium, but I really enjoy this. And I'll, like I said, I really, um, I really like the shimmer that it has. Of course, you know, I, always, I like a little good shimmer. Um, a couple last products, um, and then that'll be all for today. Um, so mascara, I know that's one that Chelsea hit upon. Um, I have decent lashes. I'm not gonna lie. So I can use just about any kind, but, and I try a ton, but I do not pay a lot of money for my, my mascara. It's just one of those products that I just don't. So, I, let's see, I've got a couple here that I've tried recently, because I do like to try new ones. I'm going to start with probably my favorite, my current favorite. I got this, um, it's by Tarte again. It's called Lights Camera Lashes. Um, I really enjoy this. This is a great product. I got it for $10 um, over the holidays when it was on sale. Totally worth $10. Um, two coats, I'm out the door. This is Flower um, Warrior Princess. I believe Flower is Drew Barrymore's pr uh, product line. Um, I think it was $10 or under probably. Um, most of her line is pretty affordable. It's a pretty decent um, mascara. It's... Um, this is kind of all dried up or I would show it to you. Uh, one that I was really disappointed on that a lot of the influencers liked is the telescopic. Mm -mm, did not like it. Um, it's got one of these kind of wands on it. I'm just not about that life. I just, I don't, I didn't care for that. Um, so I do use, um, it looks like regular mascara on the top, but on the bottom, I always use a waterproof. Um, so right now I'm using the Essence Lash Pr Princess False Lash Effect Waterproof. Um, it's okay. It's not the best waterproof. Like right now I can kind of see where it's smudging off. So I actually um, have another one to try when that one's done. So I think that's it because I've been talking for like 23 minutes so far. Um, I can definitely come on here again and talk to you about what kind of foundation I use. Um, and yeah, cause I have a total, like I have a ton more products over here beside me, um, that I was going to share. Oh, okay. I'm going one more, one more. If you are not setting your makeup, I'm going to encourage you to get a setting spray. Um, when I tell people that I use a setting spray, like one of the first questions is usually, is that really worth it? Yes. Um, so I have tried several of these as well. Um, and I got a few here. Um, let's see here. So one that I've tried, um, that is okay. Is this Morphe setting spray? It's okay. It's a continuous setting spray. It's, it smells great. Very refreshing does this job. Do I think it's the best? No. Do I like it okay? Yes, it's affordable. You can catch it on sale. I think um, maybe it was like $12 when I caught it on sale. Um, this Tarte product called Stay Spray is a decent stay setting spray. It's got a lot of product in here. Um, I can't remember exactly how much it costs, but I know I bought it 
um, and kind of one of those, if you buy two, you get this, um, on, you know, kind of thing, buy two, get one 50% or, or something like that. It's a good setting spray. I would recommend this one. Um, it's, but my favorite, um, and then I actually have another favorite. It's, it's in my office though, um, is Elf. Again with Elf. Um, it's Stay All Night Micro Fine Setting Spray. It's got like a little thing in it because it is a little thick. The only thing that I don't love about it is the spray kind of gets clogged every once in a while. Um, but like it says up to 16 hour wear and it, I mean, it really does hold it on. Um, another trick that I have for you, um, you know how your makeup will wear off on your mask? If you will spray the inside of your mask with some setting spray, um, it will help with that. So, you, you know, you spray your face with setting spray once you're done putting on your makeup. Give your mask a little, the inside of your mask a little spray. Let that dry. And then you're not going to have the transfer nearly as bad. Like, you will notice a remarkable difference um, in your, your makeup and how, how it lasts under a mask. Okay. That's all I got. I'm not going to go any further today because I'm talking to you for 27 minutes. And I'm sure you're like, okay, Sarah. And half of you probably quit like 15 minutes ago. But we'll get together again because I've got some foundation I want to share, some setting powders that I want to share, um, some, I got some skin problem stuff I want to share with you, um, my go-to lotion for this dry 40-something skin, but we'll have to talk again next time, but I think, um, Chelsea and I would both agree, Elf for the win. Like, and I, honestly, I've got other Elf products sitting right here in front of me that I absolutely love, too. Um, and we'll talk more of, maybe Chelsea and I'll have to do a duo. Like, we'll just lay all the Elf out and see what we really use. Lay the Elf out. <laughs> all right, guys. I will see you next time back here on the Beauty Blog. Please give us some feedback. What do you want to hear? Do you want to hear more about my, my troublesome 40 skin and what I use? Um... I can do a whole line on what I use exuviants, um, what I use to combat my melasma, because I do use quite a few products for that. Um, I can talk to you about what I do for my acne at 40. But uh, yeah, I hope you guys are having a great day. Uh, keep on being ambitious and yeah, hope you're having a great one. Bye.